Hi oh, Greg, sorry this is late, um, but let's just go through it. I mean, what I've done here is I've drawn a line, vertical line straight down your backside basically, and then one right on, on your forehead, because what we've got to make sure that we're doing is we've got to make sure we're keeping your pelvis centered. So your pelvis will be, basically the middle of your pelvis will be about here somewhere. So we're trying to keep it centered throughout the swing and what happens with a lot of players is it'll tend to thrust towards the ball in this direction normally on the back swing or down swing but i've got a video out tomorrow on on, the, on this particular point anyway so that would be good for you to watch and and try and implement as well so what we're going to see with good players is when they swing back is their butt will stay against this wall here and then their head will stay against this wall here and then what you're going to see with your swing is your butt moves off the wall quite quite soon into the back swing so you'll see it there, there it's just going there so it's thrusting forward your hips are thrusting forwards also in transition what you're going to see with a lot of good players is they're actually going to almost sort of sit or squat down a little bit in transition and their backside will will be against this line here if you head over to my Facebook page um, or Instagram or Twitter, there's a little tweet I did on there, Cameron Champ, he's got a, a tree behind him and he's got his backside against the tree, the way the camera's positioned, and you'll see when he swings up and down how it will stay against that tree all the way to the top and then, and then coming down. So because your hips are thrusting forward, it's actually going to cause your, your hips to stall. So you, your hip rotation will slow down. You can see as you're coming into impact there, you look a little bit stuck, okay, a little bit bunched up there because your hips at that point should be turned out of the way. Probably, you know, well, we should be able to see your left butt cheek as you're coming through. So this this thrusting forward of your hips here is is causing... Sorry, the thrusting forward of your pelvis is causing your hips to stall on the way down. So you're getting a little bit stuck at the ball there. So you haven't really got much room to turn and get out of the way. So there's a drill that is in the video that's coming out tomorrow where you, you put a chair just behind you. So you get your backside against the chair. And then get your head up against the wall. So you're going to do it without a club. And basically what you're going to do is, is have your arms across like that and then what you're trying to do is you, is you turn into the back swing is basically you're trying to keep your backside against the chair as you go back so you'll feel your, your your butt cheek brushing against the chair as you go back as you come down to impact and then through and then all the way through that you want to make sure that your head is staying on the wall so it doesn't come off so you can see if that was the case, if you had the chair behind you, your right butt cheeks coming off there. As you're going back, you can see your head's pushing through the wall. So you're basically moving much closer to the ball. And you're getting, you know, really stuck on there. So what I would do as well is look at your posture. Because you look like you're bent over too much from your hips. You're definitely tilting forwards too much that that can cause you to be a little bit off balance to start with and then it's probably adding to this thrusting of your hips forward as well so you've got to stand up a bit more you know what we're looking for is if you were to draw a line down from your armpit which i'd say is about here then that line should actually pass over your kneecap and into the ball of your foot there so you can see it's actually quite Quite a bit further forward than where we want it so what i'd get you to do is basically just stand up a little bit taller well in fact if you just move a bit closer to the ball because you are too far away from it there naturally you'll naturally you'll stand taller so you want to work on standing closer to the ball get the chair on the butt head on the wall and just work on staying there feeling your butt against the, the chair as you go back and through and keeping your head on the wall 
So that's from that position. Let's just check it out from from face on. Okay, so from face on, let's have a look. Your head should stay in the box. Uh, you can see moving way out of that. That's a big problem. So looking at it from the other angle, what I've just talked about, if you had your head, your forehead against the wall, this would never happen. So really what's happening is you're moving off center by quite a lot. So you're having to really compensate coming back through. You know, you want to try and keep everything nice and centered when you swing. You're going to generate a lot more club head speed. So getting your head on the wall would give you that feeling because what you've got to do now to get back is you've got to compensate. So you've got to actually sway your head back over to try and get back into that box, which you do a good job of, really good. So we can get rid of that sway straight away and the hip thrust. It just means that you're going to get the club down into a better delivery position. You're going to turn your hips better. You're going to have more room to hit the ball as well because you just look a bit a bit cramped over it. So what I do is, um, you know, take that on board, get the chair, get the head against the wall. You know, watch out for this video. That's that's going to come come out tomorrow as well because that's that's pretty much aimed at what what you're doing wrong, um, which is going to be really good for you. And then that should sort a few things out. The rest of it looks pretty good though. So I think if you can tidy up that hip thrust, get rid of that. You know, all the tall players they don't they don't thrust the hips. When I say thrust the hips, it's people call it um, early extension, where the the hips thrust forward. So tall players don't do it, or they do it very little, and you've got it going on quite a bit. Also, tall players their head will stay really centered when they go back. So imagine my head was on a the wall there as I'm turning. It's it's staying centered. Okay, you're you're over here. So you're going to hit it so much better you know once you can hit that head centered going back impact through your head can rotate that's fine but you don't want it moving like yours is side to side hope that helps give it a few weeks and uh you know get back to me on it you know let me know whether that's that's making a difference for you talk to you soon